All right, everyone, here is yesterday's trip to the tracks. But before I show you that, here is CNM314. Going from Winnipeg to Toronto. It was led by 5701 with a really awesome sounding K3A turn. And 5701 actually used to have a P5 horn. How do I know? Well, let's just say I saw it last year leading on Z114. So yeah, that's what the horn used to sound like. Anyways, trailing second behind 5701 is BC Rare 4651, a C44-9W. And that has 88 freight cars and 364 axles. And now, here is yesterday's trip to the tracks. Alrighty, so with 314 out of the way with a BC rail, we are now at the York Dome Line Crossing in Sefro. Mile 34.78 on the Ballot Subdivision. Haven't been here for a few weeks. And I got here not that long ago. You can see that the Nerf Bear signal is red. And, they, and the southbound signal is also red too. So yeah. So looks like I got nothing coming for now, but who knows, maybe there could be a train meet because train meets could come unexpectedly because... Oh, yep, I was right! <laughs> yes! Looks like we got a train meet. What a surprise.
So we got a northbound train coming into the Sefford. Yep, he's pulling into the Sefford siding, and that's CNA451. Awesome, we are getting a train meet today. And it looks like it's a SJ75I leader, so that's really cool. So train meet today. So we got two trains coming. I take that back what I said at the beginning here. Anyways, I better get ready and film 451. Possible now. So 451 was actually a really short train. You can actually see the end down there. It was so short that it didn't need to block for York Dome Line crossing. Looks like it's going to be a short 451 today. I can see the end of a train already. So no wonder he's in the Sefford siding. Oops, sorry. Southbound signal hasn't changed to green yet. I guess it's a bit too soon. The crossing should be activating any second now. So I better get, stand back when he comes. I take back what I said. Hi, so here is 451 sitting in the Sefford siding right now. He stopped right before the Yorkton line crossing. That's probably because he doesn't need to block it because he's a really short train today. But Southbound Senior is still red, red surprisingly. But oh well. Oh, it just changed to green really well. So for the first train, because this has the SD 75 i leader, and that being 5776, I believe. I'm going to be filming the southbound on the other side of the tracks. So that way I can get the SD-75i leader. In case he starts to move. And that way I don't get blocked too. Alright, I might as well pause the now until um, the southbound shows up. We will come back to CNA 451s really soon. But for now, the train that is meeting it is CN X112. An Act 1 and the motor train going from Vancouver to Brampton. It was led by 3243 with a really awesome sounding K3 Elhorn. And trailing second is X Series X 3936. An X 112 yesterday has 159 rail cars and 488 axles. 4373 signal on.
after X112 went by, 451 got the go ahead to leave Sephir, so he departed the Sephir siding. So going from Charger to Nerf Bay, CN A451 was all EMD power. It was led by 5776 a ST75I with a really awesome sounding K3A turn. And trailing second is 8805 a ST70M-2. M451 yesterday has 43 freight cars and 184 axles. And at the end of the train, my friend Tommy showed up, so unfortunately he missed the train meet. But don't worry, there'll be a few more. And 451 was going to have a meet with CNA 450 as mail. Which will be the next train.
Almost two hours later, along came CN A450, going from opposite direction of Nerf Bay to Toronto. It was led by two dash lines, and that being IC2708 with a really awesome setting K3LA horn. And trailing second is 2544. And 450 yesterday has 94 freight cars and 388 axles. And just like 451, it was also going to take the Sephir sighting to meet with CN Q183 and Q105, which will be coming up soon. CN Detector Ala 47. No alarms. Temperature 8. C. Total axle 388. Speed 31.
For some reason, the separate road crossing started to malfunction. After 450 came to a stop, along came CNQ-183, going from Brampton to Prince Rupert, BC. It was led by 2961 with a really awesome sounding P3 horn. And for a weird DPU is XCVX 3914 And 183 yesterday has 154 rail cars and 420 axles. And it was going to have a meet with CNM314 at Brecken, which will be coming up soon.
just on time. Exactly. So as you can see right now, CN8450 is sitting in the Sephir siding right now, you can see. You can see the tail end of a train. It's definitely a longer train compared to A451 this morning. But yeah, I was expecting to get a double meet. And the meet is not over yet because CN Q105 is not far behind CN Q183. So we got 105 coming too. So this, so this, this is basically a double meet. Meeting with 183 and 105. 105 should not be far, that far away, so yeah. And the singer is still um, yellow. I think I can hear Jeevo power right now, so I think 105 is coming right now, so I better get set up. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure you give it a really big thumbs up because it will help me a lot. And right now, speaking of which, the signal is now flashing yellow. So 183 has passed Cedar Bay. Alright, possible now until 105 shows up. So going from Montreal to Vancouver, CN Q105 was led by 2919 with a really weird sounding K5 feature horn. And for a weird DPU, it's 3052. And 105 yesterday has 158 well cars and 440 axles. And just like 183, it was also going to have a meet with CN M314 at Bracken, which will be coming up soon. After a weird DPU went by, CN A450 got to go ahead to depart to so departed Sapphire.
alarms. Temperature 8. C. Total axles 4. 4. 0. Speed 3. 6. Alrighty, if you take a look down there, we got another southbound green signal you can see here. So now we got another southbound coming. I have a feeling that CN M313, because 313 would usually run around this time anyways. And of course it usually goes into the Brecken siding to meet with 183 and 105. So I have a feeling that 183 and 105 is meeting with 313 or whatever train it is in the Brecken siding. We'll have to find out when it gets closer for sure. So yeah, until that southbound train passes, I'm going to pause it for now until it shows up. And this will be the final train of the day for me. So yeah, pause it for now. The next and final train that we caught is indeed CN M313. It was led by 56 AD. A SD-75-5 with a really awesome sounding K3A horn. And the engineer gave us a horn show. He even played Jingle Bells with it too. Trailing second is 3671, which is a Dash 9. And trailing third is 3171, which is a Shiny g -Fo. And 314 yesterday has 98 freight cars and 410 axles. <laughs> CN detector, ALA, 4, 7, no alarms, temperature, 8, C, total, axles, 4, 1, 0, speed, 3, 3. Clear signal at Zephyr, mile 45, ballast up, no restrictions.
and there goes Cyan M314 heading south to Toronto. You can see here, like holy man, that was a really huge horn show, that's for sure. From 5680s engineer, like holy man, that was really awesome to hear. Like wow, that looks like that was definitely the best train of the day for us. So I glad I was able to stick around and see it. That's why I really missed the horn show. But wow, that's really cool. Anyway, there goes 314 heading south to Toronto. I figured it was 314 anyways, judging by the timing. So that being said, I really hope you enjoyed today's Ray FM video at the York Dome Line Crossing and Sefer. Even the bonus shot of CN M314 as well. Like ho at Mabert at Princess Street with a BC Rail. Like, holy man, that was really awesome. Well, until my next Ray of Fame video, you know what to do. Make sure you give this video a really big thumbs up because it will help me a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. And a shout out to my friend Tommy because he's with me right now. See? <laughs> Anyways, until my next Ray of Fame video, I will see you guys later. Peace out, folks, and have a wonderful evening. And see you in the next video. Hey, hey, hey. I really hope you enjoyed this video from Sefer once again. And the bonus train at my ever as well. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Make sure you give this video a really big thumbs up because it will help me a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. And a shout out to my friend Tommy again because he came along to Sefer. Do you have anything to say? No, other than thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys like it. Yep. And stay tuned and maybe we'll see you all again next time. Yep, indeed. Anyways, until my next Ray FM video, I will see you guys later. See you later, guys, and have a wonderful evening.